Need more detail on completing a virus blanket? Welcome to my nine part series on stitch by stitch, round by round of completing a virus blanket. Let's make it. Ciao friends, Beth of Thimblehooks back for part four of my stitch by stitch, round by round of the virus blanket. So if you need the detail, here it comes. So here we are with round six. I have a little bit of a trick to make sure you get all of your stitches in this very first round because this is probably a spot that people get a little bit mixed up. So what we want to do is put a double crochet in the top of every double crochet that we already made. So the easiest way to not miss a stitch is to come down here, find your last double crochet, which is right here, right here, and count back nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, right here. So we'll do that again. Here's our very last double crochet from that round, previous round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm going to mark that stitch right on top there because that's where you want to place your first double crochet in round six is we're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet. So then we're going to go into where we just marked. Just keep your eye on it right there. And double crochet. Now continue. We're going to have 10 double crochets total for this span. So there's one and two. And here's three. Double crochet in the top of all of the other ones from the previous row. There's number four. There's number five. Number six. It's whoopsie. There's number six. Number seven. Number eight. There's nine. And we have it all lined up, so number 10 is going into the top of the 10th double crochet from the previous round. So that is awesome. I think this is the trickiest spot. Right in here, when you're trying to start a new row, this is where people lose their stitches and go, oh, now I have to tear all this out because I'm one stitch off. Don't have to. If you count backwards like that, it'll get you in the right spot every time getting a little bit more of my yarn here, sorry. Alright, so now we've finished our double crochet. Jump straight over into this three chain space and single crochet. And a chain three in between the single crochets like we did before. And a single crochet. Now we're going to do double crochets all around here. So make sure you start in your first double crochet from this fan here. So just to stop and take a look and go, oh, there's my first double crochet. That's not it. It's right here. Not over here. It's right here. So now we're going to double crochet. This should be a total of 20 on top of this corner. So there's number two. There's number three. Number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten for the first half with this fan. Now we're going to do ten more. Make sure you catch this little stitch right here. So there's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, and number 20 is going to go in the top of our very last double crochet. There's 20. So we finished this corner. We're going to work up the side. And just like we did before, once you finish your double crochets, you're just going to jump right over to this chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three in between the single crochets and do that one more time in the second chain three space. Single crochet, boom. And now you're to the next corner. So just find your first double crochet from the corner, not down here. Just have to make sure that you're at the top of a double crochet, which is this stitch right here. Double crochet in the top of every double crochet all the way around this corner. And you'll again, will have 20. There's number three. There's number four. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. There's the first half of this corner. We did 10 double crochets on top there. We want to do 10 on the other side. Go right into it. There's that little stitch right there. So this is actually number 11 for this corner, or one for the other half. So there's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and number 20 is going into the top of the last double crochet from the previous row. So you know your counts, your stitch counts right. Hooray! As soon as you're done with this, this last double crochet, it's number 20, jump over to the chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three and another single crochet in the chain three space. It's kind of the trick. When there's a chain three space, it just gets a, it just gets a single crochet. Nothing fancy. We're to another corner. This is our last complete corner. It's over here we have to finish this one. So see, even round six is flying through. Find your first double crochet that you made in this fan, which is this stitch right here. We want to double crochet in the top of that one. And all the way across again. So there's two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten in the first fan. We'll go straight on to the other ones. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and our last one is going in the top of our very last double crochet from the previous fan. There's number 20. Double crochet. We're almost back to the beginning. So to do this edge, the edge piece, the side piece one more time. So as soon as you're finished with this double crochet, jump over to this chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three in between 
and do one more single crochet. So you make a little pyramid here. There's this round had three, this round has two, and this round has just the one right here. You can kind of see it right here, what I'm talking about. There's one, two, three. There's two. And then I just, we just made this one right here. So we're going to go to our very last part of the fan. Since we already did the 10 on this side, we already did 10 on this side when we first started because this is the end of this round. Round six is almost over. Just find your first double crochet from this half of the fan, which is the stitch right here, right here, and double crochet. And make 10 more for this half of the fan. There's two, there's three, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There's our last one in this half, but just like over here. These are all connected and making a nice little arc. These are separated. We want to bring those together. So just slip stitch into your chain three. Your very, very first chain three, do a slip stitch. And there is round six complete. It looks like a virus blanket now. It's just tiny, but it's starting to look virusy. You have all the corners. You have your sides, and this is all linked up, so that's just as just as rounded as the other three. So there you have it. Round six is done. I promised this was going to be easy. It's really really simple. Thanks for joining me for part four. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, thank you for supporting my small business, and please subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications so you know when part five comes because that's going to give us round seven, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.